Hey everybody, my name is Angie Morenga. You're watching Just Angie and listening to Just Angie. We've been having an amazing conversation with Apostle Lee. It's always, I always love engaging with her. I call her Apostle because I have a revelation of where she's going and what she's supposed to do because Apostle's established and she's, she's established a lot. Her husband is also an Apostle and I just sense that there's something that God is calling out mm. and it's going to be clear. Mm -hmm. in times to come. So today there are two scriptures which we're going to talk which we're going to look into. John 10:10 10, 10, which I love in the passion translation. It says a thief has only one thing in mind. He wants to steal, slaughter and destroy. But this is the main part. But I have come to give you everything in abundance more than you expect. Life in its fullness until you overflow Amen. and that's very important mm. that god has come to give us everything in abundance mm -hmm. more than we expect mm -hmm. life in its fullness until you overflow mm -hmm. do you have ephesians 3 20 um but the other scripture is ephesians 3 20 mm -hmm. let me see if i can find it okay so ephesians 3 20 also i love and sometimes what we do with ephesians 3 20 i feel like we misquote it we, 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 for me anyway, mm -hmm. I only say one part of it, but let's see. It says that, um, it says now to him mm -hmm. who is able to do immeasurably mm -hmm. more than all we ask or imagine mm -hmm. according to his power mm -hmm. that is There's at work within, within us. us. So I'm always saying that God will do exceedingly abundantly above all that I could yeah. ask or imagine, yeah. but we forget to say it's mm -hmm. according. I forget to say sometimes. It's according to his power mm -hmm. that is at work within, within us. us. And so I want us to engage in a conversation on those two scriptures mm -hmm. on exceeding abundance mm -hmm. and having everything more than enough mm -hmm. and overflowing. And I can see that in your life. Amen. Um, I really see that in Amen. your life and in your ministry. Mm -hmm. I believe that I have it in my mm -hmm. life and in my ministry by the grace of God and for yeah. his glory. Mm -hmm. um, so I just want us to engage in that. And, yeah. and I, I hope I bring in the elements of stewardship and, and discipline. Mm -hmm. If I don't, just know that the elements of stewardship are discipline are needed. Key. They are key. You cannot do anything yeah. without stewardship and yeah. without discipline. Yeah. But what, what are your thoughts, um, Apostle Lee? That first of all, the scriptures you have read are talking about God's ability yeah. and God's willingness mm. and his capacity. Amazing. That he's not just saying, I want to do this for you. He's able to he's do able it. He's able to do it. And he has the capacity Alleluia. to do it. Alleluia. And the Bible says that God is able to bless you abundantly. abundantly. So that in all things, at all times, hmm. having all that you need, you will abound in every good, good work. work. That God has the ability to, to surprise us in regards to his provision. And for me, this was a sore place for me. And, and what changed it is understanding my position in God. Understanding mm -hmm. that I am a daughter of a good, good father. Mm -hmm. That the, in him there is no shadow of the shifting of, of turning yes no shifting. that he's a good he's not a deadbeat father he's not he doesn't abandon he doesn't there's nothing in him that is dark but that he's a father who loves us and wants to bless us and provide for everything that we need but the second thing is that um the bible says in ephesians 2 10 that we are god's masterpiece created for good works which were preordained for us and and when someone goes to work the they are provided for everything that they need to accomplish mm -hmm. that work, the yes. assignment. Yes. That means that there is an assignment on me mm -hmm. and that God will not withhold it. That, that assignment is a serious investment, mm -hmm. is a great investment. Yes. And God will not put an investment in me and fail to give me the resources to accomplish that, in, assignment. that assignment. Yeah. That's so, amazing. Yeah. I'm so like, wow. Mm. For me, I love, and then um, I love the two scriptures mm. uh, because it's exceeding abundance. You know, if it's NIV, ah. it says that God, God came so that we could live life abundantly. Yeah. But these other versions are talking about exceeding, exceeding more than enough. More than enough. Yeah. And I love the version that says more than you could ask. Or, or imagine. imagine. So you can't ask it, you can't imagine it. What I love even from what you shared, number mm, one, mm. posture has to change. Mm. God is a good, good father. He's a good, good father. We started the series by saying, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. Yes. He's 
faithful love endures, endures forever. forever then you've brought purpose into it yeah mm. he has a purpose he has mm. a vested interest mm. he's made an investment in us mm. and then every good and uh, uh, then he's made an investment in us mm. to do our work yes. so that's very important yeah. and then i love now Ephesians 3 it's saying mm. that it's according to his power, power. Mm-hmm. that is at work in us mm-hmm. so i feel there's a way that we have allowed we have to allow him to work in us oh wow i i am what i would call a risky person So I will Me. go. I have gone to nations <laughs> Me without too. money. Me too. A whole nation. Yeah. A whole aeroplane. Yes. People ask you, what are you going to do, Pastor Anji? Yeah. I'm like, let's see. Yeah. Me, yeah. I like to say, okay, God. See, eh? Mm. Let's see what happens. Yes. What's the worst? Let's let's see. Yeah. So I go. I Me go. Mm. And I say, you have to take care of my needs because that's who you are. Yes. But I must say, mm. which is what I was talking about, stewardship, mm. by God's grace mm. and in humility, mm. I have been faithful because it's of the kingdom with the resources yes. I don't joke. Yes. I share my resources, I tithe my resources. Mm. I give mm. I give I'll sit and think about somebody who wants something and I, or they write to me if I have it I give it. Yes. Sometimes mm-hmm. also in my younger self, mm-hmm. maturity now going in 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 the word of god mm. i must say that there are times because we're having authentic conversations mm-hmm. i would say god honestly all this giving by now the built house for you too like <laughs> really no what if yeah. all these people then i hear stories of how people have, have been unfaithful yeah. how people have not come back for people i'm like hey father yeah. but then he always tells me now that's the problem even mm. right now he's correcting me mm. the problem in giving mm. and being a good steward mm and accounting for mm. resources mm. and using them for the purpose which your god gave you mm. is not about people responding mm-hmm. we said it is according to his power yes so he's the one to respond yes. it's a, remove people from the equation yes. remove the people you have blessed mm-hmm. who you expected to bless you back yeah. remove them yeah it is god's idea yes It is his power that is at work. Mm-hmm. He actually came John mm. 10:10. 10, 10. Mm. He came and he died. Mm. He came mm. so that I we mm. could live life abundantly. and live it more abundantly, yes. exceeding abundance, yes. Yes. overflowing. Yes. And there could be somebody right now who's asking. Mm. How come I'm not seeing that abundance? Mm. One you could be in the process. Mm-hmm. Two, you need to uh, I'm telling you by the time God can trust you with money, mm. hey, you have to demonstrate that you can be trusted. Yes. And there's actually I wanted to share but I want to remember a story that I heard this time mm. at um the International Leadership Summit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a man who shared mm. on how God gave him 100 million dollars. <clears throat> and he said If he could go back mm-hmm. and give it all back, mm. he would. What? Yeah. A hundred million US dollars. Wow. Wow. You see, we think we want things from God, but we don't understand. Now he shared mm. about what happened. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I like to call it the aftermath. Mm-hmm. of receiving 100 million dollars it's mm-hmm. a, it's a big one mm-hmm. so great responsibility i always say with great wealth comes great responsibility mm-hmm. being a steward yeah is very important the bible mm-hmm. says if you're faithful in the little then god will give you more mm-hmm. so there's demonstrating faithfulness mm-hmm. and there's walking a journey mm-hmm. where now the exceeding abundance mm-hmm. begins to flow but i yeah. i still feel like it was picking up momentum mm-hmm. It was picking up momentum but god needed to know i think for myself let me speak for myself mm-hmm. that he could trust me yeah that he could trust me with the resources yeah. and then again to get my mindset mm. off the fact that people or mm. are afraid remember i said the last time i said mm. that's also i had a, that's at that summit mm. hey, that christians mm-hmm. <laughs> are the most strongest christians mm. are sometimes the ones who are most afraid yeah. so i needed to shift my mindset about being afraid that there will ever be a day when i lack mm-hmm. or that such a that's a very deep fear for most me it so, is yeah. it was there for me i cannot yeah. lie yeah, i've wrestled too. with it for me too like you can give 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 and you end up without anything at the end but god would always show me that's not who i am mm-hmm. 
that's not who I am. Yeah. My CV, you know me. Yeah. I'm a father. Like yeah. you said, he's not a deadbeat dad. He's yes, a father. Yes. Why would he do that? Yeah. And mm. let us just say we got there. Mm. I'd have to figure out a way to get out. Mm. I don't know why I feel like sharing this, but in Bible school, mm -hmm. My Bible teachers, honestly, I was like, these people, mm. this is arrogance at the next level. Because mm -hmm. they would say you can drop them anywhere. Mm. Any desert, any water, anywhere. Mm. And they will thrive. Mm. Fortunately, unfortunately, mm. that is my confession. <laughs> Take Amen. me anywhere. Amen. I know the principles. Yeah. I know how to pray. Yes. I know how to prostrate myself. Yes. I know how to read. I know the word. Why wouldn't I succeed? Yeah. No. No, 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 no. Yeah. And according to his power that is at work in me. Yes. So there is power in yes. me. Yes. The, the success factor. To achieve factor. things. The, yes. the success factor is it's not me. Yeah. It's God's yeah. power within me. Yeah. The Holy Spirit lives within me. Yeah. No. <laughs> I would have to refuse to fail. Yeah. So I have I have a very interesting story mm -hmm. about... Um, about supernatural provision. Yes. I have many, but this I one have, I feel I need to give. Me, I have so many things. I'm like, wow. <laughs> yeah. So when we got married, like a month or so into into our marriage, God told us to give out our car. Yes. And one of the things we believe is that we have grace to attract a certain kind of resources mm -hmm. and we feel like that is that should be of benefit to our people mm -hmm. and so we felt we needed to give the car to our assistant pastor mm -hmm. and that was the hardest decision because remember we were just about to begin building so we were ubering and bordering <laughs> to the to the site to the site and then when the week that we moved into the building um we we were given a van Mm. like a small like a mat but a small one mm. and then this van had had an accident so the the side had been hit so it had a little hole in it so i would be so embarrassed to get into this van i'm like oh god thank you so much for first of all we wrote on it fortress assembly just so that we are clear it's not our car it's for the church and then i would be so embarrassed to get into it because it had this dent on the side and Sometimes I would get on it and have like a streak of mud, you know, it's it's like a mud. And I would be like, oh God, Lord, we need a car. We need. I was very grateful for that. It helped with the building. But I would tell the Lord, this is not it. This is not it. And then I kept remembering how it was such a sacrifice for us to give out that car. Mm. I'm like, God, this is six months on. What do you want us to do? And then like... For maybe four weeks or so, maybe uh, two months ago, uh, someone just comes over and says, the Lord said I should give you a car. Imagine. And God gave us a car. And maybe a week or so later, someone calls us one morning and says, um, the Lord said I should give you a piece of land. Wow. And that's when I was like, oh my God, it's so important to obey the Lord it because the car that we were given was so much more than um, what you were expecting. Yes, the value was so much more than the one that we gave out. Mm. Like God really, really, really blessed us. And I feel like give, when it comes to giving, it has to be swift. You have to, to kill yes. greed on the you, inside of you. And you must act on the moment. You must act on that moment. Mm. And the most important thing for a human being is the ability to hear God. When you hear hear God about giving your home and dry. Yeah. Yeah. And I also wanted to say, mm. because I think also a lot of people would say that giving has been abused by the church. Yes. But what I would say, mm. and I always say mm. to that, mm. is that it's something somebody, a minister of God asked me once. Mm. I was trying to say that it's just a small seed. And they asked me, was it from the heart? Mm. And I said, yes, it is. And I've always remembered that. Mm. Was it from the heart? Yes. Mm. Then that's all it needs to be. Mm. It's not about the amount. It's that it's from the heart. Mm. So I also feel like those who feel that they've given to the church and it hasn't been used or it hasn't come back to them, then I feel like there's a prayer you need to say now. Mm -hmm. You need to say, or every time you give, you need to say, God, I'm giving this from my heart mm. and I'm giving this to you. Mm. So you multiply it and bring it back to mm -hmm. me. Um, actually, the word of God says, run a, a good measure, pressed down, shaking together, and and running, running over. over. So make it about him mm -hmm. instead of the people mm. or the vehicle that you're giving it to. I agree. Speak to that seed yes. that you're giving. Yes. 
and decree God's life and purposes into yes. it. Find a scripture, find yes. a word yeah. that removes removes everything else and makes this about you and God. Yes. And then he will bring it back. Yeah. Then a lot of people also think mm. that the the money must come back in terms of money, but I believe it comes in so many ways. True. It comes for me I call them the aspects. So mm. the the blessing and the answer can be spiritual, yeah. soul coach is the mind, the will, the emotions, mm. physical, it can be social, mm. it can be professional in yes. your career, it can be financial, mm -hmm. it can be in how you lead and mm. in discipline and how you serve mm. and how you lead others and mm. how you govern, mm. but it can also be in different areas. And it can also be in building discipline. Because yes. it kills greed. Giving yeah. kills greed in us. Yes, it does. And the result of giving mm. is that it, it it helps us to focus on God yes. more than focus on the money. Yes. Yeah. And I think that's why he says that you that there's a generation that will seek his face and not his hand. Isn't mm. it? The Bible says that there's a generation that will seek his face and mm. not his hand. Mm. His hand comes in the face but he's asking you to seek him first yeah. and you know even i remember seek ye first the kingdom of god and all its righteousness you know and all the all that you need will be added and given to you mm -hmm. that is also very important yes. and very key yes. so it's about seeking god and mm. seeking his will mm. and what he's trying to teach you because i also like a minister of god who i heard once say it's not easy to give it isn't but you must act in the moment mm. because i remember once also being i think i was in a service and and the lord said to me after this service i want you to buy this person who's who sit next to you shoes mm. and i i did i went I, and he was even told the store to go to go downstairs go to the bar to get the shoes mm. but he was giving me a lesson where he told somebody else mm -hmm. to do that then they say this week i don't have the money but next week i'll have it then i'll do it that's already disobedience the blessing has gone Delayed. because of the timeliness yeah. and the swiftness yes with which you have to respond to yes. we have a lot of uh, mobile money in, in in my country in kenya mm. so that's another thing immediately comes in i close my eyes i say who who is that who, who is the, type the recipient for? yeah what am i supposed to do with this mm. who is waiting for this money mm. or a portion of this money because yeah. i have to give it yeah. because he gave and i have to give so mine is always immediate it's i don't think about it i don't put i don't Me process too. it for two days three days it's now now mm. now close your eyes now what's happening god what do you want who's waiting for this mm. out he yeah. can even tell me um the next money that's coming into your phone i need you to distribute it this way one two three doesn't mm. even come mm. i sit i wait it comes bus, yes. moving we are distributing we're a channel i'm a channel you're a channel yes that's what you need to do is become a channel for god and we have an agreement with my husband and, and we pray that the lord will help us to uphold it that we don't want to sell cars last year we were able to give out two but we are believing god we have a list of before the of the people Who, that you want to give to yes mm -hmm. so we already have the next person and the next about four people that we are believing god for that we will be able to give them cars mm. and even before before they come that we are telling god that person needs a car i know i have grace to attract a car for them i know mm. i have grace mm. to receive a car for them mm. use me as a channel of your love for this person the same with furniture we say we don't give we don't um we don't sell, your furniture. sell furniture just about maybe uh, a few months ago i i had a house that i closed down the house and had furniture and by the time that happened i knew i told the lord someone was telling me sell the furniture it's good furniture and i said no 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 god can give me much more than than the worth of that furniture i want to give it out and we just shipped it to a a friend's um a friend's house a pastor friend who needed it and i feel like the idea of partnering with god for other people is one of the most fulfilling things even more than waiting mm. for what the lord will do mm. it's more you know you you you're fulfilled by asking the lord how can i partner with you for this person mm. yeah and i think i'll share two testimonies without sharing the details of who they are but mm -hmm. i have some friends even who are getting married and their parents mm -hmm. used to cook mm -hmm. for people's weddings and i'm like you know they come oh what are we going to do i said please mm. the seed was sown mm. by the previous generation mm. your mother used to cook for people's weddings mm. ah sit back and relax mm. and see what god will do wow. you know or a giver i've always been a person who has sold into people's weddings always like I'll sit out there's a wedding that. what do you want to do okay buy the cake buy the dress i mean mm. i'm getting instructions from yes. the holy spirit but i always find a way to seed into people's yes. weddings yeah why okay it's coming mm. wherever it's going to come and show up it's coming but mm. just but also i wanted to say don't do it with manipulation 
You see, yes. I didn't do it, say, oh, this must come back. No, I just no. do. I just partner with God. I yeah. just want to be there for him. Yeah, posturing. Yeah, your posture, your mm. position. The other thing is, I think cars are important, because we've talked a lot about cars. Mm. Cars are important because they're ministry. Mm. You know, a car signifies ministry. Mm. It really does. Your mm. your assignment, Your if you dream that you're in a car and you're driving, that's your ministry. If you mm. dream you're in a car and you're in the passenger seat, maybe it could mean Holy Spirit is driving you. Mm. So ministry, God uses ministry and cars mm. to really speak to us. So recently, um, I, I, I do, by the grace of God, ministry in different um, geographical areas. Mm. And in one of those areas, mm. I was floored by God. Mm-hmm. One of the leaders in mm-hmm. that area was gifted with a car. Mm-hmm. Me, I was like, God, Wow. But it's a confirmation. It's a sign of many things. Yeah. They have been faithful in in serving mm-hmm. God. And he's been faithful. Yeah. Yet it looked like nothing was happening. Yeah. Honestly, it looked like oh, this is so much suffering. Mm. I don't even know what it is. But God in his time will yeah. answer. Yeah. And so I feel that. I feel that um, I'm glad we've had this conversation. I think we need to pray the right scripture mm. and pray the scripture rightly. Mm-hmm. And for me, what I would do is every time I come to a situation where there is no exceeding abundance, mm. I, I pick up the Bible. I say, God, this is your word. Mm. You said that you will fulfill your word. Mm-hmm. That your word has um, your word has gone before us mm-hmm. to level mountains. You know, I will quote the word. You said that your word must accomplish yeah. what you sent it for. Yeah. You said that heaven and earth will pass away, mm-hmm. but your word will never pass away. Mm-hmm. So here's the word. Mm-hmm. The word is that I'm supposed to be enjoying exceeding abundance. Mm. Show me if there are areas where I am not flowing in the reality that I need to mm. in order to walk in the exceeding abundance, mm-hmm. show me. Mm. Align me. I like pray, praying the word of alignment. Mm. I like saying, God, align me. Every mm. place about to step out of rhythm, mm. show me. Mm. Every place I'm lacking, why am I lacking? Mm-hmm. What do I need to do? This is what your word says. Yes. And then get into it. Yes. And not with a religious mindset. I don't know how we're going to remove religion from people, but with a spiritual mindset, with mm. a, a mindset of God, you created me. Mm. You brought me into this world. Mm. You've said mm-hmm. that you came so that I could live an abundant life. Mm-hmm. So sort of speaking his word back to him and finding words on abundance, mm-hmm. but being a good steward. Yes. I really don't believe that God will bless anything and anyone who is not a good steward. You have to be a good steward. You yeah. have to develop, you have to demonstrate stewardship yeah. and discipline yeah. so that you can That's the secret of multiplication. God. It's discipline because, and stewardship. Yeah, because there is seed to sow and in the kingdom of God, sowing is <clears throat> also investment. Yeah. When we say so, it literally means put in the ground. So God will tell you, buy stocks. God will tell you, buy land. God will tell you, give your tithe, give this person. You have to be able to obey God and increase your your capacity to give by increasing what God has given you. And if he's saying increase (coughs) by giving, give it. If he says increasing by investing investing in this place, you have to do it. Discipline is the key for multiplication. Yes, and, yeah. use, and I'm just thinking of Genesis 26, 12. The Bible says that Isaac, mm. wow. the Bible says that Isaac sowed a seed in the famine. Yes. And in but the he reaped, yeah. uh, in the same year he reaped a hundredfold. That's yes. another word I like to, to speak into seed of any kind. Mm. Whether the seed is a service, mm. whether the seed is, a, is, is actual finances, whether mm. the seed is... Um, um, I don't know, helping somebody, invest mm. in somebody, helping them get a passport, mm. investing in their business, registering their business name, paying rent, school fees, whatever it is, mm. it's a seed. So you speak that word into it. And then I like to continue with Genesis 26, 22, where it says Rehobo. Mm. It says a quarreling has arisen, mm-hmm. but in the third well is Rehobo. Yes. And that the Lord will make room for you to thrive and to, mm. to flourish. So find the scripture, find the word right. and speak it mm-hmm. into your different situations. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow, that is amazing. Yeah. I, I also feel like um, in regards to, to um, discipline, that the Lord is distinguishing Christians 
in this season. And it is important that a Christian applies excellence to, to what they are doing mm. because we are not, the world does not, the world does not re, um, reward mediocrity even if it is anointed. There is no reward for mediocrity. <laughs> yeah. The world. Yeah, there is no reward. Even for if mediocrity. it's no, even if an, uh, mediocrity is dressed up in anointing, drenched in anointing, there is no reward, especially in the world in the world that the lord can be with you but if you walk in mediocrity you are going to have mediocre results there has to be excellence applied in everything that we do in communication in uh, our finances in how we do our meetings in our skill we have to keep growing ourselves and improving ourselves one of the things i keep asking the lord to teach me is how to preach yet i've been preaching for a long time but i keep telling the lord again i'm here is an opportunity today i was telling the lord like sharpen my oratory skills help me to communicate articulately what you have put in my heart mm -hmm. it is important that we have excellence for the sake of the gospel and not misrepresent god by giving some standard work That's yeah true. yeah amen and amen mm -hmm. okay apostle Lee, look into that camera yeah and pray okay. whatever god brings into your heart mm -hmm. to do with what we've just talked about okay father in jesus name we thank mm -hmm. you thank you because you came that we may have um, life and in abundance and I thank you because you are able to give us all things that mm. we we may abound in every good work so today I pray that everyone that is watching and listening will enjoy the abundant kingdom life in the name of Jesus we cast poverty we cast lack in Jesus name and declare a new day for someone today that they will enjoy supernatural provision miraculous increase in the name of Jesus exponential growth in Jesus name that when they work their reward for their work shall be a hundredfold in the name of Jesus when they put seed in the ground they shall harvest in the same year a hundredfold in Jesus name may they hear you with clarity on what to do with their finances what to give what to invest what to eat in the name of Jesus mm -hmm. I pray for someone that is believing God for school fees for rent that Lord you shall come through for them in the name of Jesus Christ I declare the devourer is cast for every tither in the name of Jesus Christ and declare that they shall enjoy the abundant kingdom life, the overflow that you have a portion for every believer in the name of Jesus. And like Jabez, we pray, bless us and bless us indeed in Jesus mighty name. Amen. Amen. amen and amen. Amen. Amen and amen. amen. God bless you abundantly. Meditate on Ephesians 3.20 and mm. John 10.10. 10. Mm. God bless. Thank you so much. I've really enjoyed oh, our series. Me too. I've enjoyed the conversations. Yeah. I've enjoyed um, everything that we've spoken about. And yes. thank you for being part of the Voices of the Ecclesia. Anytime. I really believe that you're a voice mm. that is speaking Amen. what God has ordained. Amen. God bless you greatly, Amen. Apostle Lee. Amen. All bless right. you too. And God bless every listener and every mm. watcher. May God watch over you. And mm. I sense in my spirit, may he rejoice over you with singing. Mm. God bless. Bye-bye. Mm.